Hey, thanks for choosing Student Phase Smart Lecturing. In this video, you would be learning about basics of operational amplifiers. Let's assume we have a battery of 1 volts and a bulb which requires 10 volts to light up. In such cases, we need an electrical component which amplifies 1 volts input to 10 volts. The component which does this is called an amplifier. Amplifiers were originally used to perform mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, integration, differentiation, etc. Hence, they are called as operational amplifiers or op amps between 1964 to 1968 a scientist named robert weidler brought out 741 integrated circuit op amp made of bjt's and fet's they were low cost small in size versatile and flexible as a result of which they were used in computers displays measuring systems etc the symbol of an op amp along with its terminals is as shown an op amp is indicated by a triangle which points the direction of signal flow usually op amps have a minimum of 5 terminals positive supply voltage terminal vcc negative supply voltage terminal VEE output terminal V0 the inverting input terminal is marked as negative and the non inverting input terminal is marked as positive when input signal is applied at the inverting terminal and the non inverting terminal is grounded the output of an op amp is 180 degree out of phase with respect to input when input signal is applied at the non inverting terminal and the inverting terminal is grounded, the output of an op amp is in phase with respect to input. This is an IC741 operational amplifier. It has 8 pins. Pin 1 and 5 are offset null pins. They are used to balance offset voltages or to null. Pin 2 is inverting input terminal. Pin 3 is non inverting input terminal. Pin 4 is for negative supply voltage VEE. Pin 7 is for positive supply voltage VCC. Pin 6 is output pin. And pin 8 is a dummy pin. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching.